Happy Church Leadership Development. As a Christian, you may have heard the phrase, happiness is fleeting, or joy is not the same as happiness. While these statements may hold some truth, they fail to recognize the importance of happiness in our lives. In fact, as Christians, we have a unique perspective on happiness that's often overlooked. It's not just a temporary feeling of pleasure or contentment. It's a state of being that's rooted in our relationship with God. As the psalmist says, is your presence, there's fullness of joy at your right hand, are pleasures forevermore. So God has emotions and he is joyful. Joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. He's forever joyful. Yet when we obey him, he's happy. When we disobey him, he's sad and maybe even a little angry. So those are the emotions of God. And he's also given us emotions. So things make us happy. That is part of our mental and physical being. And part of our mental health is to build habits that increase happiness with self-care, with gratitude. And so we're going to be talking about some of those things because in the spirit, the fruit of the spirit is joy and peace and long suffering. And it's beautiful. And um, maybe you're more spiritual than me. I'm not always in the spirit and it helps me to practice the happiness habits to take care of my mental and physical health. Um, so I can be more in tune with God, because if those areas of my life are out of balance and not healthy, that's really going to affect me. I'm not going to feel like reading the Bible or praying or praising him. Um, and it goes the other way, too. When we read the Bible and pray and praise him, that affects our mental and physical health. It all works together. So which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, we are a spirit. We have a soul and we live in this body and we have to take care of all of it. So happiness does not discount the joy that's in Jesus. Joy and happiness are not mutually exclusive. They're intertwined and dependent on each other. God wants us to be happy. Jesus said in John 15, 11, these things I've spoken to you that... My joy may be in you, that your joy may be full. Jesus not did not just come to save us from our sins. He came to give us abundant life, and he tells us that in John 10.10. 10. And that abundant life includes happiness. Happiness is also essential to our spiritual health. When we're happy, we're more likely to feel grateful, to show compassion to others, and to have a positive outlook on life. Happiness can help us overcome challenges and persevere in difficult times. As Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice, Philippians 4.4. 4. So we may not feel like it. And, you know, there may be things that aren't going right. And we're not saying thank you for those things. We're saying thank you to him for his goodness in the midst of those things. Our happiness in God can be a source of strength and resilience. Moreover, happiness is not just an individual pursuit. It's a communal experience. When we're happy, we're more likely to share that happiness with others. We can be a source of joy and encouragement to those around us. As Paul says, therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 of course, happiness is not a guarantee in this life. We'll face trials and hardships that can steal our joy. But even in those times, we can find happiness in our relationship with God. As James says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. James 1, 2. Our happiness in God can transcend our circumstances. So happiness is a choice. It's something that's being studied. It's a science. And as we practice happiness habits, every single one that I teach on, I can find a clinical study. That was not the case in the 90s when I got my master's degree in counseling. We did not have empirical evidence because we didn't have the technology. And we were taught that the brain does not change. So these are really exciting times that we know the brain does change. As Christians, we know that we are born again, we're born of the spirit. So we have that double whammy, uh, we have that advantage. And so just think about a time when you've gone to a church service and it's been really joyful, great time. Then you go home and you're just in your mood. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. You wake up and you're in that mood. We used to say, oh, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. That was some excuse huh, to be grumpy. And now we know, no, do something about it. That's what we're talking about when we talk about happiness. Um, and it's not putting our head in the sand, ignoring. When we feel one emotion, then that opens the floodgate for us to feel all the emotions. So we regulate our emotions. We feel the sadness. We feel the fear. By the way, those are the two roots of anger. So when we're angry, we say, what am I afraid of? What, what's causing sadness in me? There's a key right there. And we regulate it back to happiness. And it may not be a feeling in that moment. And we may not be so in tune with God and that joy, feeling it in that moment. We have it by faith. And we just say, I choose to be happy. I choose to have joy in the Lord and to rejoice in this moment, even though the circumstance is really hard to walk through. So if you're a Christian who's been hesitant to embrace happiness, I encourage you to reconsider. There's a library of happiness habits to look at. Like you go to the gym and you lift weights and you do repetitions. That's what we're talking about with happiness habits. You don't just neglect that because you're born again. You take care of your body. So happiness is not a worldly pursuit. It's a godly one. It's a reflection of our relationship with God and the central component of our spiritual health. As Christians, let's pursue happiness with all of our hearts, knowing that it's a gift from our loving Father. So today, we just want to pray, Father, help us. Help us to take care of our mental health. Help us to take care of our spiritual health and help us to take care of our physical health. And we thank you that we are triune beings and that you are in our midst and you are faithful and we just love you and we praise you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray.